Aflin tried to make me read my old writing from like five years ago, and like I'm very <laughs> sad about that now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets better. No, maybe Somehow not I doubt that, Diary. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. We're gonna be meeting the best character. Er, we're gonna be uh, developing the best character in the game. Then meeting the best character in the game. <laughs> well, I think it's the best character in the game. <laughs> Well, sadly, we're not going to the best town of the game just yet. You see, I spelled Gerwit properly there. <laughs> it's like, I, I almost forgot. I, it's like I remembered who the main character was, but I forgot how to spell it. I guess that's what <laughs> happens when it comes up at the end of the first game. This should be called KG2 IC Inconsistent Edition. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's, it's, I, like, it's like I said in the previous video. Uh, RPG Maker needed a spell check really bad. <laughs> well, they... Eventually, eventually there developed, there was made, like, uh, command line tools which will dump the entire text, but that came much later. Yeah. This was... Mm -hmm. It could I, dump the entire text, but could it, like, re-implement it? Uh, well, you can at least run spell check on it then, and you can probably use search to find out the exact ones. <laughs> There's one thing I could say about that, is that you couldn't really use that when you are making this part of the game. Agree. Uh, uh, there is a reason why this file is called Deep Typo 5. Yeah. Oh, uh, you told me about this part, and I actually thought you'd be able to talk to, uh, poor Riaj, but apparently not. Um, I might as well tell the story behind him now. He was, like, the first NPC town NPC in the game, and, like, I thought it would be so easy to, like, implement Paper Mario-style stuff where you can, like, come back to the town every time, Every time something happened, it, each character will have something new to say. Then I realized, uh, this is hard. Because <laughs> I, I like tried to write something down, and Riage was the first thing that came out, and I'm like, what the heck am I getting myself into? <laughs> and that was my 14-year-old self. <laughs> and you're finally going to the other end of the map, I see. Yeah, I cut it out because you are not seeing like over 10 random encounters as I was walking through the rapids again. Oh look! And the mirror spurned KW's advances. I love that mirror. Yeah. And because you didn't come in here while they were still outside, they locked that chest. If you came oh, in no. here earlier, you would be able to open that chest. What did it have? I forget. <laughs> well, I'm knowing it up. knowing this you was... is probably probably an angry berry or something. Yes. Yeah. Ah, and here it is. This here appears is... after you defeat Pyromelic Girl, if I recall correctly. You're gonna hate me for this part. <laughs> yeah, that you think something's there, but it's not. <laughs> What's the point of having a perfectly square box of stumps? It eh, happens. So you're, now I'm just paranoid. That <laughs> get the secret. Get the this. secret. Oh, you so missed I'm the secret. <laughs> everywhere I can. <laughs> wow. And I can't pick. I could have picked up a star because I was standing on top of a star. It's just the basic airship, but it is so fun because this area is so packed with stuff and very large, so you can just glide all the way over it. And yet there's actually nothing to find here. Well, yeah. you're supposed to get all the treasures. Like you're I, did, I did notice that the uh, the water splashes are kind of off-centered on the big yeah. waterfall. And they're all perfectly synchronized, too. Yes. RPG is funny that way. You see, I you wanted to have... Oh. When, when I was testing the game, I didn't even know about this. Yeah, yeah. It's I, I not It's not even on the map, it just is programmed to appear. I, I, I'm seeing this now for the first time and I'm like, what? This is actually, funnily enough, the first time I've ever found this thing too. <laughs> even though every time I play this game, I always went the rapids route. And here's me skipping even more uh, random events, uh, random encounters. Oh dear. You could have saw, counter rate, man. Yeah. The counter rate. You might have saw, like, right before I cut out, I actually got hit by a bandit and a uh, Bronto Burt. And holy shit, I am under level for those guys. No, you're perfectly on par. No, funny enough, they almost killed me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> surprising one bit. Bronto Burt decided to use uh, everybody up, and the bandit just cut up poor Dismaster to shreds. And even though this is a common travel route, there is no guard whales here whatsoever. Uh, well, they're Kirby's. Yep. They can probably fly. Surprisingly enough. And don't mind the seam in the sky. Right I'm just there. looking... <laughs> I was paying attention to the uh, floating blocks of land. 
I mean, I can understand, like, these parts being supported by the rainbow bridges and, well, being a natural rock bridge, but those other islands are just floating chunks of earth. Magic. That, so. Those rainbow bridges need to, needed to have their whole chip set to get the most of the colors right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, Death of Rain. Probably, uh, the probably, the most, probably the most wasteful use of resources in the entire game. <laughs> but hey, at least it looks pretty. Well, now we can see KW try to futilely cut open the block. And here is magical technobabble that is spoken of once and never brought up again just to justify the strangeness that was in this game and the original game for some reason. Hey, it's a callback. This is where I, I, I'm so... It's so awkward looking at this because this place looks very nice, but it's also where the most fan fiction in the game is found. Because, <laughs> like, I'm very happy of the design, and even though it's kind of, like, icky in some ways, it still is nice visually that. very what pretty. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, I'm just looking at the commentary here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were programmed to say in random things that... KW or Hyper would already say just to make you just to make you seem relevant, even though you're <laughs> entirely expendable otherwise. Never what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, it's like you go up here, and this is so. This entire area is very much steeped in the fan oh, fiction mythology. Gaudian shelter. That's ones. our first instance of typos in this episode. Yeah. Um, well, I think the in the first area, like the suburbs, were originally the sub-rubs so, <laughs> for so long. The sub-rubs? The sub-rubs. Not the suburbs, the sub-rubs. The back-rubs. The sub rub 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 Yes. Cert and certain seals can be destoried. Uh, destoried. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep making that typo even today, wow. Destroyed? <laughs> destoried is in every sentence now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! They're actually not destroying the seals, but they're actually well. Actually, the <laughs> seals are really, really thin wafer, like wafer thin uh, books, and by destroying them, they are taking away the writing on it. <laughs> it they're, they're just taking an eraser and like taking them away, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this entire area was supposed to be like so steeped in like the mythos of the Kirby stuff, and like the Star Rock would be the ultimate weapon of the game and whatnot. But it's just not working for me now, since I realize in retrospect that Kirby had like the narrative coherency and narrative strength of like a piece of Malba toast or whatnot. So it just seems so... It just seems so... Oh, wow. It just seems so like... Uh, right. Yes. I guess so, but at the same time, like you realize, Kirby like never really wanted to have good narrative anyway. I mean, the one time it yeah. did, it had like you beat up a walrus, and suddenly the entire airship's wing just explodes <laughs> <laughs> because it just can't handle the fact that you beat up that walrus so hard. We don't even know why the walrus was there in the first place. But oh. yeah. Yep, oh, there's another one. Mm. The air fancy and the air food. <laughs> The funny thing about those events is that they're not activated by, like, confirming that you just walk in and they start talking yeah. to you about the ear pantry. And oh my god, I made a I made a really beginner mistake. Oh! <laughs> I, I you didn't. I was you panicking. are really prepared now, I must say. <laughs> Jeez. I pressed up, and when you press up, it makes it thinks that you're trying to like order ten of an item. And now I'm like, oh, oh crap! Wow. I better sell some shit. Oh god, what do I do? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And at this point I was thinking, well, at least if Dismaster dies again, I have ways to bring him back. He's Good. strong, but he's fragile. <laughs> Very much so. I'm a close cannon! Oh, don't worry about it. He fixes his uh, fragility in this episode. I'm okay. actually surprised because I thought this was more hidden than it is, but as long as you have Disc here, he just kind of points you directly at it. <laughs> He this actually, master's five minutes of fame. Yeah, and he brings <laughs> up an entirely sensible idea. I mean, hey, if you have all these barriers, just go around, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Great Wall of China. Just go around. Yeah. And here I am really stupid and decide to go every way but the right way. <laughs> Try, I don't trying to blame find you. It's kind of like, it's, all the colors blend together. It's kind of awkward. Yeah. And then, like, if you find the right way, this master tells you, hey, this is the right way. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, here's the thing. I'm going to, like, wince almost right now because there's a secret. And it is kind of 
really sort of hidden even in this hidden thing. And you are just going to walk right past it right now. You're not even going to notice it there. I did not notice anything. I don't see anything. Everything's well, just a big just blob of that's color. That's the secret. Oh, and then there's this. A green feather thing. It's obviously a beret, isn't it? Yeah, but like you can't tell because of the sprite art. I keep trying to equip hats to KW for some reason. When you find out what this is, please tell us. <laughs> it's <a very> <laughs> <young>. <laughs> I uh, I spoke in Why the do I have a or something. <laughs> what the hell, man? I don't know what it is, but I'm putting it on my head, okay? Oh. Who do you think I am, the soldier? Mm. I don't know. I just it was the only spare piece of equipment I had, okay? Shut up. I don't I'm not very good at buying equipment in this game. And, and now we since... have this. Oh god, this is a terrible place. It has non-Euclidean architecture. It's like it, a sign of the Necronomicon's prophecies becoming true because of the very geometries of this thing and how it does not conform to proper perspective gives me fever dreams of, like, the terrible beyond. That, or it was designed by Samurai Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, okay, just Still imagine that... Me. Just imagine that they're like walking into it, like like the old Batman serials on TV. You can't have the conclusions. You can just imagine like some sort of celebrity guest popping out, popping their head out. This right was now. before I understood even the most basic concepts of visual art. <laughs> uh. Meanwhile, this master's talking about his uh, glorious past as a ninja. And even More then, shit. like, uh, KW's not really taking him all that seriously, he's just kind of going along with it. And, yeah, see, ninjas <laughs> are so stubborn. And, like, Kuiper's just has no idea what's going on, he just keeps going in anyway. Yeah. Hyper it's amazing missing. how in-character things are for, like, having, even though the characters themselves are actually kind of shallow. And we are here at the Reirimanu right. Shrine, or as this master calls it, the Rei the Rei Ma Maru Shrine. It's all just a the, bunch of syllables. The bad and they have the bad of my last name shrine, more like. Uh, and they have all there, these, the like, out, hier have hieroglyphics on the walls, and, like, you can tell it would eventually be this, like, rage-bearing self, because they have just... They speak in, like, faces that are just angry and, like, writhing and, like, err. Also here, enjoy seeing my IQ drop by 10 points. <laughs> oh, come on, Ab. This I'm is, like, is first-grade stuff. Uh, and, then, and then go back and notice, wait... What just I, happened? I am I am so disappointed again. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I, just I, like, I lifted that right out of Pokemon Gold of all places, and you still got it wrong. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I just walked up and pressed confirm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Evelyn, Evelyn really? fails basic spatial recognition. Oh, wait until, wait until you guys see episode six. Oh, I'm gonna no. say that. I need to put that out there. Look, I got and this again, right this time. And again, this place is. Again, designed by Samurai Kirby. And, then, well. and I noticed <laughs> yeah. something funny about these rocks. They don't like you. They just they just don't like you touching them, okay? They're just backing <laughs> off. No, they don't! <laughs> I mean, even inanimate objects have feelings, you know? But you know, the oddest thing about that part is that uh, when I played the exact same remake of this puzzle in Kirby Wars RPG 2, the rocks do not have this behavior. Which is weird. <laughs> Uh, maybe that or you never just that or you never checked. I don't know. Oh, I did check. I did check. Trust me. <laughs> more well, more fucking baddies. You, you you got a really great battle music there. <laughs> yeah, knowing as fuck too. What is that from? <laughs> I don't know. I think a shooter or something. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, out of all battle music, I could have chosen. I chose the most loudest one. <laughs> oh oh oh! Better shut oh, up. Wow. Important part coming. There it is. The, the Rei Ri Maru Blade. <sighs> <laughs> I am disappointed. Hey, I thought ninjas didn't use swords. <laughs> there are ex exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I swear, a spell and, checker. And it glitters, it glitters. It's just the most fabulous blade ever. <laughs> <laughs> you think fabulous. it would have rusted by now after being left outside and exposed to the elements for a house? God knows how long. It Tekken technically Kali is too. yours, Ness. Uh, no, it's it's Tekken Cali. Oh, and KW can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Well, it makes sense. He can't do it. It's not. It's, it's not supposed his to be ninja Disc sword. saying that because Disc is the one who turned around. <laughs> but it's not oh, his man. ninja sword. Oh, oh. suddenly. Oh. Random goobers from chapter one. You see, I'm cringing Again, right now because of all the like bad typos and like I can't tell if it's supposed to be campy or not since it's been so long. <laughs> but at the what? same time, I'm like. I remember what happens next, and it's just like, well... Well... Uh, and now KW is showing off his skill with the blade, and he keeps missing. His, fir his first slash... He attacks with much skill, yes? He dies. <laughs> and it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks what a lot, accuracy? Thanks a does lot, that, Elder does Tanari. Does that mugging thing ever work? It hasn't I, I worked. I remember... Did it work? It hasn't worked at all since I've actually uh, started playing this game. Yeah, because I figured it would be a bit unfair, but they should at least try, right? Nah. But yeah, it's like it's a dice roll chance, and if it actually, and if you have an item in your inventory that they can steal, they'll take it away. Huh? They are though. <laughs> we're we're too though for those chapter one goobers to kill us. Mm. And suddenly his ninja instincts rise up. <laughs> I'm psychic! Guard the soul. All of a sudden. <laughs> oh, yes, you can spell guard correctly, but not guardian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly. Oh, it's a bummer man. He's firewalking. <laughs> That's unfair. Oh, and this is KW's only contribution to DE right here. He made the sprite of this handsome, handsome character. The British accent. We're all yes. veterans to him. Vakant von Bischkat. Vakant von Bischkat. I remember when you first unveiled this to me uh, way back when when we were still doing this. I, I, I was so, so just like laughing my ass off just with the look. <laughs> <laughs> I think the yeah, music I, is the best part, though. Yeah, yeah, and I was the one that designed it, and you'll see Trails. my bad. <laughs> oh. Trails? <laughs> what agorants? I will just <laughs> paint it by force. <laughs> what agorants? <laughs> you have arrogance, Boy. right? <laughs> I am a collector, damn it. <laughs> oh. So this guy is the villain of the second Pokemon movie. Got it. <laughs> Apparently. That much here? <laughs> now I'm just thinking, um, wait, how strong was this guy again? Of course, most of the battles now just basically uh, revolve around KW spamming first slash as much as possible. Oh, yes, the war cries. <laughs> A free fire slash. War it was supposed to be fierce slash, but oh well. The funny thing is, I remember it being spelled fierce slash before. I, I remember too, apparently. Uh, oh, and this is not the new version. In the new version, Hyper can steal a skill from him and it would break the rest of the game, but oh well. Round zero? Uh, no, a uh, Dizzy Bomb. Dizzy Bomb? E it nice. would do a lot of damage and confuse. Oh. Oh! Uh, blood! You well, made we'll him bleed! We'll, tell, we'll talk more about the new version later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, this is amazing. No one can! Is Arguably he still in a British accent? <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh no! I, like, this is such a side character, it was in the back of my mind, and then it comes out like this, and it's just like so, whoa! He's so awesome! Yes, and... And... It, well, well, How the fuck do you miss? That's how what do you, you miss? call it, critical fail, gentlemen! Boom. Whee! <laughs> Team Rogue supposed to go for you! Well, literally, Ding. yes. <laughs> so yes, that was KW's one contribution to DE. He and you blew it right of that guy. And you honored him by blowing it out of the, <laughs> blowing it into the <laughs> air. He was supposed to be a recurring character. Like every time you went into a dungeon that had a really powerful item in it, he would try stealing it from it, from you and whatnot. <laughs> This would have been a really good time to sh have a custom sprite of this master wielding a, ri a Riri Maru blade. Oh, come on, I couldn't fit its sprites. <laughs> you could have just, like, I don't know, pasted it on his face. And now his bloodlust awakens. <laughs> the Riri Maru blade, yes! Look at that spelling. Ugh. At least it's kind of Japanese. He has Maru uh, on it. You're, you're talking about a 14 year old sense of cool here, okay? <laughs> yeah. 
This is a 14 year old game. I mean, come on, we were all weeaboos once. Uh, and then, and then oh, look, the, Disc is happy now. This is no longer uh, rolling his eyes in the, <laughs> in the menu screen, but rather he is now... Yeah, it does a whole four more points of damage. <laughs> and That's it gives cute. it the skill Caffeination. Uh, apparently the blade is drugs, I suppose. <laughs> but, well, I, think, I like to think of the blade as a giant <laughs> Mr. Coffee shaped like a sword. <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear. So whenever this oh, so disc is a coffee ninja, what? <laughs> whenever this master is thirsty, he just swings a sword a few times and beep beep beep. <laughs> Even comes a creeper pack. It's in the hilt. <laughs> oh, oh. Between all the cringeworthiness of like the bad of like my bad writing, then that happens and it, the bad mapping here. But then you have. Balsam Van Wishcat and a happy disc face, and it's all kind of okay for a moment, isn't it? Yeah. There's, there's, like a a tech tower. there's a there's a Zen here, I suppose. A it's really called, can't be Zen. It's called uh. Get the secret. Get the secret. Get the secret. Ah, oh, you missed the secret. The Zen is called Gaordian. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called Z N E because I can apparently can't spell that right either. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, thankfully, I think this is the worst we're gonna get with typos in this game, but, uh... Yeah. You said before that someone went over this game with a fine-tooth comb, right? Um, uh, at several points. The first one was Rat, and that was when it was the first release that only had the first chapter. So the first chapter, Nosley, has slightly lesser in terms of that. But then, like, this is kind of in the middle, where, like, normally when people try to do, like, editing and whatnot, they focus on pretty much the beginning, since that's when you first notice it, then the end, because that's when you have your final impression, and everything in the middle kind of evens out, because at that point you're too absorbed in it, but you are kind of rolling your eyes over. So this is, like, the exact middle of the game right now, as it was released, and that's at the point where, like, nobody who I got in there was really paying attention. But yeah, the first person who went over it was Rat, and that was in the release, the first release to care art. That, that reminds only me, actually. Had, that only had yogurt arts. That reminds me, actually. Uh, back when we were all still working on KWG3, there was a dungeon called the Mumbies Temple or something? Yes. And for the longest time, you kept spelling it Mubbies. And <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes, it, like in the in the title card, it was Mubby's Temple. In the monsters, it was called Mubby's, and then the final boss of that dungeon was called the Mubby's Pharaoh. And when I was going over it, I was like, uh, "Is this right?" And I called that them sounds Mubbies. Like a I called them enemy, KW right? and asked him, asked him uh, "Isn't it supposed to be Mumbies?" And he says, "Yeah, it's Mumbies." Uh. So then I looked over it, I, and then I was just wondering, why is it everything Mubbies? Well, I didn't right. actually make that dungeon either. Like, all I did was make the title card. Yeah, so then I went and uh. changed it to Mumbies. So then how did that end up in the monster data? Wow. And in the next version, it became Mumbies again. <laughs> oh, God. So then at that oh, point, that I was, was just my fault. Huh? Oh, wow. At that point, I was just assuming that you were screwing with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could do... Uh, my subtlety knows no bounds, apparently. And then this isn't the first time we're gonna see uh, monster names being changed. Oh no, that's in the next oh, episode. Oh god, yes. A very infamous change, I might add. Uh, whoops. Well, it's already happened anyway, so might as well just keep yeah. going with it, right? Right. Uh. Uh. Likewise. Uh.